Here we have the new Samsung S21 Ultra 5G. Uh, as you can see, the box is much slimmer than previous smartphone boxes were. Um, that's because we don't get a charger in the box anymore. Um, Apple did this last year with the launch of the uh, iPhone 12. And we're going to see this more often in smartphones, we reckon. This one's the new Phantom Black color. It's got 256 gigabytes of ROM and 12 gigabytes of RAM. So this is the big boy. Let's have a look at what this one's packing. Here we have the nice matte black color. It feels smooth. Um, my only worry with this is that it might get a bit slippery on surfaces. It doesn't have any texture to it and it will likely pick up some fingerprints. That's not ideal. Here we have the big camera module with five, five little lenses or large lenses. Uh, we'll get into those just now. Cool, so there you have the large 6.8 inches display. It's got a slight curve on the edges, but not too much as to be a bother. Let's see what else is in the box. Uh, you get SIM tool, of course. Um, further down you get the USB C to C charging cable and a few documents. So you get far less things in the box than you generally do in a smartphone. It's unfortunate for many first first time phone users or people who pull from older devices. Uh, not everyone will have a charging block for USB-C, so that's, that's a slight worry, but you can probably buy those from Samsung Direct or online for slightly cheaper. Um, yeah, that's what you get in the box. Small, sleek, easy to unpackage. So one of the nice features on the new Samsung devices is that they all feature uh, an adaptive display. That means you will get between 10 hertz to 120 hertz depending on what you are doing so it's fairly fast in normal menu navigation but go into an app for example and you'll get a faster screen speed um, this is depending on what the phone thinks you need according to the app games will obviously have faster screen speeds and social media less so but it's a nice feature that adapts to what you are doing. Turn the phone around and you've got the big camera modules right there. Here you get the 108 megapixel sensor that you also got on the S20 Ultra. We've seen that larger sensors don't generally translate into better pictures. We'll have to see what Samsung has done to optimize picture quality this time around. Along with the 108 megapixel camera you also get a 10 megapixel telephoto lens, another 10 megapixel telephoto lens. Um, these are used for optical zoom. The one has 10 times optical zoom and the other has 3 times optical zoom. That will help um, increase quality when you are zooming. So um, the previous is Samsung S20 Ultra featured a hundred times zoom this one does as well but that is digital zoom so we'll see what the quality looks like once we taste it um, the fourth one is a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and um, that's cool for like those big wide shots we've got a 40 megapixel wide camera in the small little punch hole up at the top Empowering Samsung's biggest phone, you've got 5,000 mega and hour battery. Um, this should last you more than a day uh, in ideal circumstances. If you're a power user, you'll probably get less. But 
Um, it's nice to have the option to get a phone with a larger battery. Smaller models have smaller batteries, so let's see, we'll see in testing what we get out of this one. Um, but yeah, that's the S21 Ultra 5G. We are keen to see what this thing can do.